Hello, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to use the touch display on the Core 2 development board to control the internal LED with a touch of a button on the display. This will be a basic example that you can later expand in your projects. For this project you will need a Core 2 development board and Visuino program. Go to Visuino website and download and install Visuino program. Open Visuino and double click on the Arduino board and select M5 Stack Core 2. Select the board and in the properties window expand modules, TFT display, elements and click on the three dots button. Now in the elements window drag draw text to the left side and in the properties window set size to 10 and select fill color and click on the pin icon and select alpha color multi-sync pin. Now set the text to LED and set X to 60 and Y to 70. Now let's add parse split touch component. Now we need to determine uh, where the touch will appear. So to do that we are going to use compare integer range component. And we are going to find out if the touch was in the range of the X. And we are going to add another compare integer range component to determine if the touch was in the range of Y. For the compare range 1 we are going to set range maximum to 200 and minimum to 100. And we are going to do the same for the compare range 2. Now we can pretty much detect if the touch was above our LED text. Now let's add end digital component. And in the properties window let's set input pins to 3. And we are going to add toggle flip-flop component. And let's add digital multi-source component. Add digital to color component. And in the properties window let's add color for the false. In our case the false will be red. And for the true we are going to set the green color. Now let's add color multi-source component. Connect display touch pin out to split one pin in and connect split one pin X to compare range 1, pin in, 
and connect pin Y to compare range 2 pin in. Now connect compare range 1 pin out to and 1 pin 0. And connect compare range 2 pin out to and 1 pin 1. And connect split 1 pin pressed to component end 1 pin 2. Now connect end 1 pin out to flip flop 1 pin clock. And connect flip flop 1 pin out to digital multi source 1 pin in. And connect digital multi source 1 pin 0 to digital to color 1 pin in. And connect digital multi source 1 pin 1 to the board LED pin in. Now connect digital to color 1 pin out to color multi source 1 pin in and connect color multi source 1 pin 0 to draw text 1 pin fill color and connect pin 1 to draw text 1 pin clock. At the bottom click on the build tab and make sure that you selected the right ported board and click compile built and upload button.